Mr. Chairman Brady. Chairman, thank you very much, and thank you all for the witnesses. This hugely helpful uh, testimony, Dr. Jurgen, and thank you for making the point that uh, uh, as impressive as the economic uh, impact from this new technology in natural gas is, it's not just occurring in Gulf states or in new giants like North Dakota, Utah, or Pennsylvania, but 100,000 new jobs in California, which is experiencing, like much of the country, a disappointing economic recovery. Thanks for making that point. I don't know if your numbers reflect uh, the growing need for pipelines. The last, the continued studies in that area, the last study I saw showed that to be able to deliver this product to the market and back out to the refiners and back to the market, and we'll need the equivalent of two to three Keystone XL pipelines every year for the next 20 years. Huge economic growth in that standpoint. Um, both you and Ms. First Goth Roth made the point that there are a lot of benefits from exports, both from an economic standpoint for the U.S., uh, from a global price stability standpoint, but also from the geopolitical standpoint. You know, we have, Middle East has long um, used its uh, influence uh, through its energy development to shape uh, foreign relations. Uh, Russia is doing that in Ukraine and Europe today. Um, today, Sunni rebels have captured the largest oil refinery in Iraq, uh, uh, creating a devastating blow to the government's ability to stabilize there. The thought that our children would never have to grow up wondering if the Middle East will turn the spigot on or off the United States is kind of an exciting view. To both of you, can smart exports from the U.S. Uh, give us a stronger footing in foreign affairs? Um, I think the word you used was influence, and I think there's no question that U.S. exports of uh, oil and natural gas uh, will in give a new dimension to American influence in the world. Uh, it will be a message that will be read around the world. Uh, frankly, I also think it will answer in some countries where there is a view that there is a zero-sum struggle with the U.S. over energy. If they are importing from us, it will show that we have very common interests. And so I think it is something that is not going to be a miracle solution, but it will certainly bolster uh, the American uh, position and, and uh, will affect psychology around the world. Thank you. Ms. First, Scott Thoreau. Uh, yeah, yes, well, I would like to agree with Dr. Jurgen and also say that if we uh, export, that means less revenue for Russia, and that is very important too. And it lowers the price uh, of the natural gas that Russia can export. Russia is very dependent on its natural gas revenues, revenues from natural gas. We can be cutting into those revenues uh, by exporting because uh, the price will adjust. Can I add one thing that it is not only theoretical what is happening. The sanctions against Iran would not have worked had it not been for the increase in U.S. oil production. Simply the world market would have been uh, too tight. So it's a very, this impact is already there from what is happening in this country. Great point. Thank you. I do have legislation that uh, remo removes the need for energy permits on natural gas except to state-sponsored terrorist nations. And it seems to me that the number of projects, and they are hugely expensive, the exporting projects, that the market itself will take care of the, uh, uh, of the need for these projects. And, uh, Ms. First Scott Roth, you made the point too. Economically, you know, if we restrict strict energy exports, just as if we were to restrict cars being exported, computers being exported, Dow Chemicals being exported, uh, the price won't go down. They will simply manufacture less of it, and that will happen in the United States as well. Mr. Malloy, I want to thank you for being here. Anna Darko is our really our uh, major iconic a corporate citizen in the woodlands where I live. You, you are a um, treasured company for us. Uh, I saw a picture of one of your projects, I think in Utah, Senator Lee's um, state, that uh, both while it was occurring and afterwards it was nearly invisible to the human eye, and after it was gone it, it was invincible, invisible. You have made tremendous uh, progress in reducing your environmental footprint. Advice to us, do you think the Federal Government can do more to facilitate the expansion of domestic natural gas and oil production, and conversely, what should we not be doing? Thank you. The, uh, appreciate the comments with regard to our, our, our position within the Woodlands, and uh, we certainly appreciate your, your support in, in uh, Washington. 
Uh, our company has been very active on every element of our environmental footprint, um, including reduction of the viewshed issues, emissions, and, and the overall activity that we have to get any one job done. We made significant investments in infrastructure, and you have talked about the need for that in the future. And I, I think it, it can't be overstated. Uh, the investments in pipelines and infrastructure to move this product confined inside a pipe so we don't have to deal with multiple transfers and, uh, of the product is very important in a, in a very uh, economically, uh, energize, economically energize our economy because it, it creates a tremendous amount of jobs and activity. With regard to the federal government, I think access is key. The, the lands that we hold uh, on BLM lands have not seen the same sort of, revolu the same sort of revolution uh, that other areas, other states like Colorado, um, Pennsylvania, Texas have seen. I think that opportunity exists. We just have to be, uh, we, have to, we have to work harder to get the opportunity to drill on those lands so that they can be exploited in a similar <laughs> fashion with a similar remit and a similar uh, a footprint that, that we're seeing in other states. I strongly encourage state-based regulations so that they can see we're closer to the, they're closer to the action and provide a, a broader, um, more definitive uh, set of eyes and, 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 and regulation toward our activities. Great. Thanks, sir. Yield back. 